So before we start here to look at nested navigation, I have here a simple implementation of normal navigation, which we usually use when we create our application. So you can get these inside the link in the description box below. So you can just clone the project and get started. So when you look around here, we have our navigation and also we have different screens. So inside here, our screen, we have the first uh, package that is for authentication and also we have the home. So inside here, our navigation, we can navigate from one screen to another screen. As you can see, we have created here Composable by using the navigation host. So if this code is confusing to you, please check the video about navigation inside my JPA Compose playlist. So here we have our Composables that we can navigate from different screens and we use this destination here as our route path, which we can use here. As you can see, we have our Composables. Now we can use this route to navigate from one screen to another screen. And basically inside here, our auth, we have different types of screens, which you can use to navigate. So this is just for demonstration purposes. You can have a complex screen, which we can use. Okay, so when you run the application, you're going to get a layout like this one here, which is just really simple so that we can understand how we can make nested navigation. So we have here three buttons that are going to navigate us to different types of uh, places. So for example, here we can click sign up and this one is going to navigate us to sign up page. And basically we can click here to log in directly to our home screen. We can click back here to navigate back to our login screen. We can click this forgot password and we can navigate to a place where we have forgotten our password. Now let's just click here to log in and basically we are navigated to our home screen. Now there are major problems with this type of architecture. So you can see here now we have to navigate back to our to our login screen as we have navigated back from the home screen. So we are going to fix this also and see how we can implement this. Also then when we click here, you can see we have multiple items inside the back stack that we are not quitting our application. So until we reach here, we can quit our application. So we're going to see how we can fix this and how to make the nested navigation. Okay, so for this case, let's create here inside our navigation, let's create a new file and let's call this navigation, let's call this nested navigation. Now here, let's create a composable similar to what we have here. You can see inside here our navigation, we have this uh, navigation composable. So we're going to create something similar like that. Okay, so the first parameter which we want here is the nav controller. So we can call this nav controller. And here we want to get the nav host controller. And we can check here is logged in, which is just the Boolean, so similar to what we had before. Okay, so the next case here is to create our navigation host. So we can call here our nav host. Now let's pass in here our nav controller and also pass in here our start destination and pass in here our composables. Okay, so in order to create a nested navigation, we have to create something called navigation graphs. So this graph point to different type of navigations which we have. So we can have multiple navigation in one graph, for example, our authentication and also we have our home. So we have two different uh, separate uh, navigation paths which we can follow. So for this case, let's come below here and create simple extension function. So let's call this navigation graph builder. And for example, we can call this auth. This is just for authentication. One parameters which we can pass here is the navigation uh, controller. So we can call here our nav controller. Okay, so here we have one composable that is called navigation. So this navigation here takes in the start destination for this particular type of uh, destination. And also here we can pass in the route. How do you want to name this whenever we want to navigate to this particular? So for case, for example, we can call this auth graph in order to navigate here. Now here we have the navigation graph builder. We can pass in the composables. Now to pass in here the start destination, we have to call, so you can see inside our navigation, we have these destinations which we have been defining here. So you can see when you use normally, we can start here with our start destination like a login screen, for example, or we can start from our home screen. So for our case, let's just create here our destination. 
and call here our home screen dot name. So this is just the start. Uh, sorry. So the start destination here is supposed to be the login screen. That is going to be the login screen dot name. And because we are inside here our authentication graph. Now similarly, when we come here to our navigation, now we can just copy this. You can see we have here our login screen. We have our forgot password and our sign up. Now we can just clean up our code and press Control X, or let's just press Control C and paste it here. So you can see nothing has changed here. However, we have just navigated to this function here by using our authentication. So when you define this navigation here, basically you are constructing a navigation graph. So you can see a nested navigation graph. So we have here our login, that is just our authentication. And whenever we enter this uh, graph here, we want to start to our login screen first so that we can navigate. So if you have a different type of a screen to show first, then you can do that. Okay, so one thing here you can see we are navigating to this destination here to our home screen directly from here. But we are going to fix this because we are going to create the second navigation graph. So let's create here. Let's use our navigation graph builder. Now we can just call this our home. And basically also we want to pass in here our nav controller. Now we can create our navigation and pass in similarly here the start destination. And for this case, we can call here destination. Dot name. So we want to start from this and give it a route. Now for our route, we can just call this home graph. Okay, so similarly here, let's go below because inside our home screen, we have these uh, three screens here. Let's press Ctrl C and go here inside our navigation and paste these screens here. So we can see we have here our screens. Now everything is looking perfectly and well organized. Now one thing you can see, whenever we did this, we navigated from our, for example, inside here, we navigated from our sign up page directly to our home screen. And we passed in here our home screen because our home screen is available here. So you can see it has a route here and we can navigate it here. So similarly here, we can just leave as it is now and it will work fine. But this is going to be confusing. So we want to not navigate from the authentication directly here to this screen. For example, the home screen now is in a different graph. So what we want to do is we navigate to our graph. So our graph is going to figure out, hey, this is my start destination. So I can come here because we can change here our start destination to be, for example, here screen one. So for our case, instead here of navigate to home screen directly, we can just call here, change this. And now we have a route and you can see we have here the home graph as the route now. And we can change this to home graph. Let's press Ctrl C and change this. So here, similarly, we are passing here our sign up page. So we can just pass in here to be the route home graph. Also here inside our login screen, we are navigating to the home screen. So we can change this also the route to be home graph. So now we can just navigate directly there. Now you can see we are going to TD up. So here we have our navigation host now. Now we want to pass in here the start destination. So what is our start destination? For our case here, we don't want to pass in a single composable directly, but our start destination is going to be a graph. So for example, we have specified this route here and also we have specified this route here. So for our case, we can pass in here, for example, home graph. Be our start destination. And now we can just call here our navigation controller. Sorry, we can call here our authentication and we want to pass in here the nav controller for the authentication. And the next case here, we can pass in the authentication, uh, the second uh, navigation graph that is just for home screen. So we can call here our home screen and pass in here our navigation controller directly. Okay, so one thing we use here is logged in. So we can check here if our application, our user is actually logged in and then we can just navigate them directly to home screen. So we had here a simple logic that is going to check for this case. So we can press here control C. So you can have a different type of logic here, but for simplicity, just I have checked this. So here we are using a logic effect to check if 
this user is going to be logged in by using this because this is going to be a side effect and we don't want to be recomposed every time we navigate from one screen to another screen because this is going to be navigating us back to our authentication screen. So we don't want this to be executed multiple times during composition, but we want this to be executed only a single time whenever we... Okay, so for this case, instead of navigating directly to the login screen, so here we, we can specify our destination. So for example here, we can just call the, our auth graph. So the auth graph is going to figure out, hey, my start destination is login screen. So I'm going to show this first. You can see as simple as that, you have organized your code. And we can just go directly to our main activity. We can see inside here, main activity, we call this navigation here. So instead, let's call here our nested navigation. And everything is looking perfectly. Let's try to run our application and see the changes we have made. It's changed visually, but we have changed our code structure for us. So you can see we have here our login screen loaded because we have passed here first directly. So we have to first start from our login screen. Now when you click here login screen, we are directly going to our home screen and everything is working perfectly. Now let's click here to navigate to our home screen. You can see that we are navigating to screen one here. Now whenever we click here back, and we are going to go back to our login screen then to show this because we don't want to add this for example a user has already logged in so why do you send them back to our login screen so we want whenever we log in and reach to a home screen here whenever we click this back button we want to quit our application and not go back to our our login screen for this case so we have to navigate back and quit our application so we can fix this with a simple extension function here on nested navigation and here let's create a simple extension function below so we can call here our navigation controller and here we want to call this navigate we want to navigate to a single top and here we can pass in a route and this is just going to be of type of string okay so we can call the navigate as normal which we used and pass in here the route which we are going to have now we want to do one thing we want to pop up our back stack with everything until the start destination. So here we can use here now our, I'll call our graph. And what we want to do is to call find the start destination. And basically for this case, we are going to get the destination for our start. So as you can see, our destination is not our start destination here directly when you go to our navigation is actually not a uh, composable but it's actually a navigation graph so by using this logic here we can easily find the start destination and we can call here dot id to get the id now for this case we can pop up to uh, to this start destination now we can call here save a state and we can make this to be true and save the state of a certain composable if you have and call here launch single top make it true so that we cannot create multiple instance of that uh, particular screen inside our back stack so when we call it launch single top then we are going to only have one instance of this also here we can call here our restore state and make it to be true so now instead of calling navigate directly here we can call our navigate to single top so basically here we can do one thing you can press Control shift and alt all together down and click in order to create multiple cursors here so let's just click all of the places where we have used this okay so we have multiple cursors and we can easily now change our code so we can call here our navigate to single top because this is just an extension function and we can easily just change it. Press escape here, you have now your single cursor. Now you can see we have changed everything to our single top. Also here, we can just change this navigate to single top. And as that, you have our, your code well organized and well managed now. Okay, now let's see if this makes any difference. Let's try to run our application and see the changes. Okay, now here we are inside our login screen and you can see now we are just navigating also similarly. Now let's click here, navigate back. Now we are inside our home screen and when you click here, now we are just quitting our application directly.
So let's click here. And you can see now we can click here, forget password, navigating back to our home screen. Now let's just click here, navigate it to screen two. Now let's click back and we are inside our home screen and we are quitting our application. So everything is working as a charm. So guys, let's leave it in this video. So if you find any value to this video, please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe for more videos. So if you want to learn more about JPAC Compose and Android in general, you can check out the courses in Udemy. So the link are provided in the description box below. So for now, let's leave it here. See you in the next video.